Yes guys, welcome back to another video I'm doing here on the channel. Today we are back with another Geordie Glory video. Since the last video, things have been going very, very well for us. Obviously, we were in the Carabao Cup second round, uh, which we drew 0-0, but won on penalties, which is obviously very good. We then drew in a league to Arsenal 2-2. Two, two. We was actually 2-0 up in that one, and missed the penalty as well. And if we quickly view this match... There were some very good goals on the show. Um, um, how do I do it? Watch goals. Our two goals were phenomenal. Uh, as we just wait for this to load. Yeah, was absolutely ecstatic with how we played in this one. The goals were superb. We were superb. Um, is this the... Yeah, this is the first goal. Wilson, look at that. I've never seen on Football Manager a lob like that. Um, it was just superb. John Joe Shelby with a free kick moments later. Bang, 2-0. And things were going very well. And obviously Arsenal come back. Yeah, we don't want to watch Arsenal goals, do we? Um, we missed a penalty and, and then they got two second half goals and it was 2-2. Two -two. Actually got their equaliser in the 87th minute. So that was quite frustrating. But not to worry. We then had the third round of the Carabao Cup. We won 2-1 against Bournemouth. We then beat West Brom in the league 3-0. We've then beaten Sheffield United 2 0 in the Carabao Cup fourth round. And in today's video, we have Man City away from home at the Etihad. And then we have Chelsea at home. Both in the league are going to need two big performances from us in this one. And the team we're putting out there today to hopefully pick up the victory is Cragno in goal. We have a back four of Vidal, Lascelles, Fernandez, and Lewis. We have Torre, Hendrick and Shelby in central midfield with Lopez on the left, St. Maximum on the right and Wilson up front. A new signing, Fidel, Nacho Fidel, a right back, 25 years of age from Spain. Um, right back who can play wing back as well and even centre back at a stretch possibly if needed. Three stars at the moment, three and a half star potential coming in for £3.2 million from Athletic Pamplona. I know what team I know, I know what team that is. And I can't think, I can't think who they are, um, because obviously there's no one in the Spanish race vision called Atletico Pamplona, um, and I just, for the life of me, I cannot think who that is. Like, there's no Real San Sebastian, um, and there's no Atletico Pamplona. Is that Atletico Bilbao? No, they're down there. Atletico Madrid? It could be Atletico, oh no, they're there. I don't know, but anyway, so yeah, he's come in, uh, and we was very happy with that sign-in, obviously. Um, yeah, sorry, yeah, I was just looking at some of his stats, he's had some good good performances for, for, for the Valencia and Valencia B-sides before moving to Atletico Pamplona, and now he's come to, come to the north of England for the Geordies, Newcastle, and yeah, obviously we're hoping for a win today. You might have been wondering why I suddenly stopped and my voice went a little bit funny when I was saying that. Almost choked, but I managed to get through it without, um, you know, like when you get a tickle in your throat. But I managed to get through it without coughing, so, you know, obviously improving on this commentary lark. Um, but yeah, so that was why that happened. So no editing needed to edit out a cough today, which obviously makes my job very easy or very much easier. Obviously Man City on the attack now. Getting back to the game, which was what we should be talking about instead of my editing abilities. But um, but yeah, Cragno comes out and collects that one well. Obviously, going to be a tough game here at the Etihad today. St Maximum is through here. He's through on goal. Alan St Maximum. He shoots. He scores, and that's one nil. And we are one nil up against Manchester City at the Etihad. I swear their fans were like jumping up and down. Then, like, why would they be celebrating that? And why is there a load of people dressed in red in the Man City end? What is there, a bunch of secret Manchester United fans turned up to this one? Although they wouldn't be secret because they wouldn't be in red. Do you see what I mean? Look, there's a load of people dressed in red. You don't get that at the Etihad. One or two, maybe, just like a red jumper or something, a red coat. But not as many as that. Come on, football manager. All them fans dressed in red at the Etihad. Strange. They come to the wrong ground. <laughs> they were expecting to see Man United and uh, Man City come bowling at the um, at the tunnel. What a goal. Jesus Christ. Callum Wilson with another chip. What a finish. We're 2-0 up here against Man City. For one, is the, the shock 
of all shocks if we somehow win this game. But look at this from Callum Wilson. And look at that over Edison. Edison's just led on the floor like an idiot as Wilson just chips it over the top of him. That was, that's class. That is class. Just looking at the Man City team, they're not even like, this is their first team they got out here today. Um, I mean, when we went 2-0 up against Arsenal in a similar situation, like literally two goals very close together early on in the game, um, it was a shock. We obviously missed the penalty, which was frustrating, and and, and then obviously in the second half, they come into it more. Looking at the stats, we've had two shots, two on target, and scored two goals. That is ridiculous. 15th and 16th minute goals. You can't argue with that. The Geordies are flying. And I'm thinking, what is there a passionate pump fist? That's got to be pretty... No. What's the passionate? Outstretched arms? Yeah. Outstretched arms. Inspiring and motivating the team is needed because obviously we know City are going to come out flying in this second half. As demonstrated here by De Bruyne with a free kick. Nacho Vidal gets his head to it. St. Maximum picks up on the loose ball and is now running with it down the field. This is very dangerous for Man City. He's still going. He shoots. And that was a strange shot. Um, and it, yeah, as the sort of commentary down the bottom says, St. Maximum did so well until the finish. Yeah, it was a poor finish, but three shots, three on target. We are... We're looking clinical. We're looking clinical. Obviously, that doesn't mean to say we're going to win in by any stretch of the imagination. And as I am saying that, Ruben Diaz has scored. What's the ref? The ref? What's what's going on here then? Is this our first VAR call on video? It is. Check in VAR goal review. Goal disallowed. There we go. What was that for? I have no clue. But whatever it was for, it doesn't matter. We're thankful for it. Um, and we're still winning in this game, but for how much longer, I don't know, because Zinchenko got to the byline and crossed one in. Kragno couldn't collect it, but have to make a sub here. If there is a little bit of weirdness in the sound, uh, that was because I'm going to have to edit out a cough. 70th minute of the game, and I've coughed. So all that talk, I was giving it earlier about how better I am, obviously, at getting, or well, how better I am at doing this, um, this YouTube lark, video-making malarkey. Um, just ignore it because I've just ruined it by having a cough. I'm going to make a couple of changes now. Fraser's going to come on for St. Maximum and we're going to bring Hendrick off and bring on Isaac Hayden. But yeah, this is what a performance we've been putting in today and we're just so relieved how we're playing, even if we, you know, if we don't win this game, which I'm, st I'm still not hopeful. I'm still not believing that we can win this game. Because this is Man City. We're playing against Man City at the Etihad Stadium. Like, anyone who knows anything about English football will know that this is shocking. Man City are world class. Okay, anyone says, anyone watching the video disagrees, comment if you disagree. Um, I'd love to have a debate in why you think Man City ain't a class team. Because they're just world class. What a save from Cragno. Was that over the line? Is that is what the highlights are asking for, and we're about to find out. No, it would seem not. Is that it? Is that yeah? Okay, pretty good goal line technology there from um, from Football Manager. But yeah, what a game this has been today. Um, we're very happy with how things have gone for the first seventy five minutes. Man City continue to push and push, and we continue to stop them scoring every opportunity we get. Um, and, and yeah, this is this is a shock. We've just played it forward to absolutely no one. Edison's on the ball, plays it to Can Cancelo. What can he do with it? He plays it down the line to Mares, who's coming inside with the ball, plays it over the top, switches it to the other winger, Sterling, who shoots. And that's another great save from Cragno. Cragno keeping us in this game. We don't we don't deserve to be winning this. Um. Man City have been far better than us and just been absolutely flying and somehow we've managed to keep them out up to now. We, we've actually bought Sean Longstaff on for John J. Shelby, who was just looking absolutely shattered in the middle of the park. Literally given everything and Sean Longstaff's played it forward and Wilson now is through. He's through, he shoots and that's a good save from Edison. That could have, that could have ended this game because I'm still not believing that this is over yet. And there's, I think there's, there could be a sting in the, in the tail, um, and Man City could um, 
sort of ruin the party. But, yeah, I mean, wow, what, what a performance, nonetheless. Defensively, we've looked strong, and now I've said that they're going to score, so why I said that, I don't know. Um, but it's true, we, we've looked good, and we've looked strong and stable at the back, and, and as long as they're taking shots like Raheem Sterling did there, I'm happy. Blazing that one over the bar. And, and yeah, we're, what's going on here? I don't even know what happened there. I, cl I thought I clicked for the, my assistant manager to do something, and I think I clicked me do it, and I can't remember what it was, and it's gone now, so we're fine. It, well, we didn't really miss much. It was just a cross that seemingly went over everyone and went out for a throw. But that's the full-time whistle. I don't believe my eyes. Literally, we've just beaten Manchester City 2-0 at Manchester City Stadium, the Etihad Stadium. And look at that, it puts us up to, up to fifth in the table. What a shock. What a shock. We've now got two weeks until our next game against Chelsea. Must be an international break. Yes, there is. I've just noticed. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in just a second with the massive game against Chelsea then. Yes, guys, I'll send you back with the second game of the video against Chelsea in the league. Chelsea second in the table. This is going to be a tough game. The team we put out there today to hope to cut the victory is Crack, no and goal. We have a back four of Vidal, Lascelles, Shah and Lewis. We have Torre, Hendrick and Shelby. We have St. Maxim on the right. St. Maximum, sorry, on the right, not St. Maxim. St. Maximum on the right. Fraser on the left and Wilson up front. And we'll get straight into this one. Obviously, Fabian Shah coming in for the injured. Federico Fernandez, who's picked up an injury. And also Fraser coming in for Lopez on that left-hand side. And yeah, we're very excited to see how this one goes. Obviously, Chelsea, very good sides coming to St. James's Park. And as I'm saying that, they've literally hit the crossbar. Um, but we've managed to clear it away, and that would have been a poor start two minutes in. Um, but yeah, obviously, happy Fabian Charles coming back from injury himself. Obviously, a bit upset that Federico Fernandez picked up an injury. He shouldn't be out with only a couple of weeks, I think. So he should be back maybe for the next game, if not definitely the one after. Um, and of course, as we said, Lopez coming out, Roberto Lopez, and we brought in Ryan Fraser for him, just as a perhaps maybe a better option for this game on that left wing position. We'll have to wait and see how that one goes. Uh, and, and yeah, obviously very excited for this one, as we said before. Looking good so far, first 18 minutes. Not sort of getting pinned back, which is good. Obviously, they hit the crossbar inside two minutes, which would have been quite a frustrating turn of events but we've sort of I suppose got a bit of a foothold in this game now and aren't looking as as shaky they started off well but you know like I said we come back into it and we're passing the ball around very nicely Torre plays it over the top to Wilson who shoots and scores but the offside flag has gone up and I must admit when Torre played the ball through to me it did look like he was offside it's going to VAR obviously like it always does and it is disallowed. The linesman had his flag up. So, you know, the linesman made the correct decision. Um, and as I was saying, when Torre played the ball forward, I did look and think, yeah, that does look offside if he scores this, which he then went on to do, obviously. But, you know, not to worry. Um, and as I'm saying that, Chelsea have scored. 33 minutes on the clock. Kai Havertz with the goal for Chelsea. Set piece scenario crossed in and a header um, from is he German Havertz I think he's German um, and yeah that's just it's frustrating but of course we expected you know I, I didn't expect any wins in either of these games to be honest but obviously we got the win against Man City which was huge. Um, and so, today, obviously, if we lose, we lose. It's not the end of the world. Fraser's now gone down injured on, on the left. Perhaps that was a poor idea, bringing him on or bringing him into the side for, for Roberto Lopez. We're actually going to bring Miguel Almiron on, on the left-hand side instead of Lopez, who is on the bench for Fraser. So his game's done. St. Maximum now running with the ball, plays it through to Wilson. He shoots. That's a great save from Mendy, their goalkeeper. Fraser should go off the pitch now and we're back to 11 players on the field. St. Maximum with the corner. He whips it in. Wilson with the header and there's the goal and we're back at 1-1 and the Geordies have scored. What a goal from Callum Wilson. That's his fifth of the season and he's really showing why he's, I personally think, should be in contention for the England national team. Um, 
and yeah, Callum Wilson with a great header. Obviously, Andy Carroll on the bench. Perhaps Wilson's been taking a few tips from him about winning big headers. Obviously, Andy Carroll, very tall, very big, strong forward. In his last year of his contract, probably won't be renewed, so he's probably going to leave at the end of the season. Shelby plays it over to Wilson, who heads it down, but only to Kai Havertz. So Chelsea have the ball back now, and this has been quite a frantic start to the second half. Obviously, we had the injury, um, and we've we've got the goal all inside the first six or seven minutes of the game, of the second half, not the game of the second half. Um, and and yeah, Chelsea are, are still knocking on the door and, and you know going for another goal to get themselves back in the lead. We're obviously trying to do the same. Miguel Almiron now running with the ball. Havertz tracks him and tackles him, but it falls to St. Maximum. He plays it through to Callum Wilson, who shoots. And again, Mendy with the save. Mendy keeping this Chelsea team in this game in this second half here. He's produced some fantastic saves. St. Maximum with the corner now. Whips it in. It's cleared by Thiago Silva. Almiron's on the ball. He runs to the byline. He tries to cross it in. It's good, good defending in the end from Chelsea. And they've defended well, and it's gone out for another corner. St. Maximum whips the ball into the box this time from the other side, and it's cleared again from Thiago Silva and goes out for a throw, and that's the end of the highlight. But, you know, what a frantic start this has been to this second half. We're actually going to bring Agate on for Hendrick, who's looking pretty tired in central midfield. It's not often Agate and Torre play in the same team. It's either one or the other in that defensive midfield role, but today we have Torre in defensive midfield midfield and Agate pushed further forward in central midfield but yeah I'm happy with the performance no matter what happens whether we lose win or it stays a draw you know I'm happy with how we've performed we've gone toe to toe with you know we've played Arsenal went toe to toe with them got a draw we went we've played City went toe to toe with them got a win and now obviously we've gone toe to toe with Chelsea and as it stands we're drawing obviously they could still get a winner um, they're the better side going into this game second in the, in the division so we know that they're dangerous um, and are doing well under Frank Lampard obviously it's now Thomas Tuchel in charge at Chelsea um, in, in the real world but obviously in this it's still Frank Lampard's in maximum with what can only be described as a shocking effort at goal um, and that is yeah that was poor just sort of looking at ways that we can perhaps do something in this game to somehow maybe pick up a winner. We're going to put Agate back to Torre's position and we're going to bring Sean Longstaff on for Torre. Hopefully he can give us something we haven't had in this second half. Torre obviously on a booking and looking pretty tired as well in that defensive midfield role. He's had a lot of work to do. Shah plays it back to the goalkeeper, Cragno, who boots it forward. And St. Maximum is on the ball and he's through now. Alan St. Maximum, he shoots, good block. And again, he shoots and there's a goal. Alan St. Maximum with the goal for Newcastle in the 88th minute of this game. What a goal from the Frenchman. He scored his fifth goal of the season. It was great play from us down this right-hand side. It was booted forward and St. Maximum ran with it and carried on going and got his shot away. It was good defending. He got another shot and has scored here and we're 2-1 up. But we're about to end this video with two wins against Man City and Chelsea. It's possible. Obviously, we've got to hold on now to, in the last few minutes of this game. But what a way this would be to enjoy a Wednesday evening with two wins on the on the video and St Maximum has just literally run through all of them and somehow has put it wide what a run and it deserved a goal at the end of that one that was fantastic play from the Frenchman who has put it wide which is quite unfortunate but not to worry now obviously we're defending for our lives here hoping that the clock just hurries up and, and, and the ref blows his final whistle Vidal good tackle he hasn't won the ball though. The cross is cleared from Jamal Lewis and Maximum boots it forward, just getting it out of our sort of area. But again, Chelsea coming back at us. A good shot and a goal by Tammy Abraham in the 91st minute of the game. And that's the equaliser we didn't want to see from Chelsea. And that's frustrating. It was a good goal in all fairness to them. A good solo goal, to be honest. Kante had the ball, he ran with it through the middle, played it forward to Abraham, one touch and a shot, and Cragno, our goalkeeper, can't do anything about that. And it looks like it's going to be a win and a draw in the, today's video. And there is the full-time whistle, it's a 2-2 draw, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, four points from, from six, 
is good. I'll take that. Fraser's injury only going to be a couple of days. That's five unbeaten for us now. Uh, and the next video has already been decided. It's going to be here. It's the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. And probably this Fulham game here. So we're going to have to zip through eight games. And then, yeah, we'll be ready. Um for another video but yeah i hope you've enjoyed that like and sub like the video subscribe to the channel and and yeah as i said i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time for another video cheers